and welcome back to another battle video. So this is going to be a fairly short match. Um, I just had an amazing turn that I kind of wanted to show off. This is Pyroar Seismitoad Mewtwo. And as you can see, I get to go first. I'm going to go ahead and attach the DC in. Now my hand doesn't look very good. Um, I don't really... Okay, so I was about to say, I don't really know why I didn't Ultra Ball the two fires away for a Pokemon. Um, I think my thought, well, I don't know, since I have the energy retrieval in my hand, I still maybe should have done that, just to make sure I get another Pokemon on the bench. Um, but I'm not terribly concerned, because I see the Verizian, and I know that Verizian, um, you know, he needs uh, two energy to attack, so I know that I am safe until um, at least my second turn. And there we go at the end. And okay, so this still doesn't look bad. I can get the seismitoad out. And uh, oh, I just see that since I'm getting that with an Ultra Ball, I'm going to be getting a Pyroar um, on this next turn. And uh, yeah, this is the this is why I'm uploading this video because uh, this is just a fun turn. Uh, Ultra Ball away, two Fire Energy, which I should have done on my first turn um, rather than just passing. We'll go ahead and grab that Pyroar, um, which is fire, uh, Verizian is grass, weak to fire. We're going to use that blacksmith to attach to fire energy, and uh, we'll manually attach one fire energy to the Seismitoad, and then I will Scorching Fang for uh, 180. Now I've got a one card hand, which is in a very good hand, um, but we see that on my prizes, I uh, got the Juniper. So... I'm feeling pretty fantastic right now. Uh, he goes ahead and uses that plasma energy onto the Genesect to catch her up the Seismitoad. Um, I'm perfectly fine with that. More than happy to let my Pyroar sit back and maybe I can take out a Cub Chew um, with the Seismitoad. So Cub Chew is there to counter Pyroar, which is uh, why I went ahead and did the rest of this video. Because while I got the excellent T2 start, uh, Bear Tick can still prove to be a difficult matchup for Pyroar. Um, unless Pyro is running Floatstone and then, you know, Bear Tick's not doing anything. Um, but Bear Tick does one-shot it, um, assuming it doesn't have a Floatstone attached, and that would allow Genesect and Verizian to hit me. Um, ideally, that's not what I want. Mewtwo is really in this deck just because um, we're seeing a lot of Mewtwo wars everywhere. Um, Mewtwo's being, so, uh, so the big deck, uh, or another big deck, is Lucario Landris. Lucario is weak to Psychic. Um, has a fairly high energy cost once you get down to the you know big attacks, so Mewtwo's just going to eat that up, take um, take control of that, and so we're saying Mewtwo's in those decks to help counter the Mewtwo's they may see, um, which is why I included in this deck. That and it's just a great attacker in all sorts of situations, and I already run DCE because of Pyroar. Um, as you can see, I didn't really do too much on my turn, just got the second energy attached, got a couple more basics laid down, and uh, just ended up hitting the Seismitoad for 30, but more importantly, uh, we're putting on the item lock. So um, he's not going to, I'm trying to think of um, what uh, that means for the Verizian deck. I'm assuming he is running um, G-Booster with uh, Genesect, so he's not going to be able to use that. Uh, the other big card was Sky Arrow, but that's been rotated. Um, in addition to G-Booster, uh, Verizian usually plays some Muscle Band, so we won't be able to attach that. Uh, no Ultra Balls, so it's going to be harder for it to get Bear Tick out, or another Verizian. Um, no Professor's Letter to search out energy. S um, I don't. I doubt this. Uh, his Verizian um, runs Catcher just because of Genesect. That's pretty odd. Um, so lots of great stuff. And uh, I'm... Getting, oh, well, there we go. Um, getting a pretty nice hand, but as you can see, he uh, once I switch back, that's going to be another two prizes when I uh, knock out the Genesect, and uh, that's not good for him. So, um, yeah, like I said, the main reason I wanted to show this video was just because of that awesome second turn. It's uh, not every day that you're able to get the turn two knockout in this format um, when you're not using like something like Lugia. So uh, I just kind of wanted to show it off. So thanks, everyone, for watching, and stay tuned for more.